right, so Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. This is off their 1989 album, Dr. Feelgood, wow. produced by Bob Rock, who's one of my favorite producers for the, you know, real straight-ahead rock sound. He produced The Cult, and he's produced so many bands. Metallica, he gets that really great guitar sound and drum sound. Uh, and I was reading when he recorded this album, he had to have these guys come in separately to play their parts because there was so much, like, dysfunction in the band at the time, right? Um, but anyway, so let's get into it. We're in the key of A here, but it's actually G because these guys tune down a whole step, okay? So tune your guitar down a whole step, and then we just we play in the key of A. It's actually G. Um, and for this song, what I've done is I've detuned my B string. You can hear how flat that is, right? And this is something you want to do when you're playing these kind of songs that have those thirds between the, the, uh, the G and the B string. Like that, right? Um, because you get, if you flat it down a little bit, you get a really nice third. Okay, the problem, of course, is when you play the fifth, you're flat, right? So to compensate for that, you can just push a little harder on the B string, or you can just pull it a little bit to sharpen it up, right? Okay, so uh, Van Halen did this all the time, like songs like um, Unchained. You know, like, you just can't beat that, that sound. But you're not going to get that, like, if, if I tune regularly, right, you get that horrible dissonant sounding third. But... Right? If you detune it, you get that sweet third. And you can compensate the fifth by banding it a bit. Right? Okay, anyways, let's get into it. So we're going to start like this. Of course, that is after that whammy thing which i can't do because i don't have a whammy but um that sort of motorcycle sort of sound at the beginning it's just a, the d string down with the whammy and then up a string same thing and it starts down right and up so it's just d a if you have a whammy board d a and e and then the lick starts so we're here on like a g power chord and we're gonna go like Hit the first one, up a fret, and slide into the last one. Like a lot of guys go, you know, they strum every one, but it's... And then we're going to go, and I just go kind of uh, E and D, or E and A string, and accent the uh, A and the B string, so it's like... It does that a bunch of times, and then eventually we get into the lick. And instead of finishing off, we're going to go and play the A chord there. And the lick goes like this. I'll do it real slow. So what we're doing there is we hit the A. And we're going to pull off on uh, A3. And then we hit the G note on E3. And then we hit the D and the G string. Okay, we don't, don't need to do that because we're just hitting the D and the G. So... 
and um, sometimes he'll hit the E there. He'll go. Right? And sometimes he'll hit the open A. But most of the time, I hear the G. And in the beginning, I hear hear that note in one of the guitar tracks because there's two or three guitar tracks playing this lick right? and it's a little bit different all the time but for the most part I'm hitting the G okay now we're gonna go it just pull off from two three four on the A string um, and then we hit that D power chord gotta do that with our third finger because we need to do that in a minute, right? So we've got... Right? And we've got to heavily mute this part here. Right? So it's... Da, 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 da. I, I see a lot of guys will go... Do the same, but it's not. It's... And we kind of slide that down. And kind of put a little hook on that G note on E3. Do it again. And this time, we're going to go... That's open E, two, three, four, open A, little hook on that one too. Now you could go, go all the way up, right, instead of playing the open A, play it there, but I prefer to play the open A. So, so far we've got... All right, and then we same thing. We just end on the D, right? And then we get into the verse. Now, um, like, if you just pick this with your pick, like a lot of guys, you know, they talk about, oh, what kind of pickups do you have? What kind of amp do you have? What? It's all about equipment, you know. But it really, the the way you get a sound. Um, is the way you play, right? That's most of it, and the way you pick. Like, so if I just pick this straight like this, that's just straight, right? Now, if I pitch a little bit, it means I get a little bit of my thumb and finger in there, you're gonna get more like this. Okay, and which is a completely different sound. It almost sounds like a different amp, right? But it's got nothing to do with the equipment. It's just the way that you pick it, right? So... Right? So keep that in mind, you know, when, when you're um, looking for sounds. it's A lot of it is just the way you play. Okay, so that ends. Then we get into the verse, which is... And, you know, you can fret it like that or like that. It's probably better to do it that way because you don't want to get that note in there. So... And again there, it's like... When I slide up, I just use the A and the, the D string there. But this time, I'm not doing that. It's just a straight...
Then we go to a C power chord, G, D. Okay, and there, uh, that's the hardest part of the song right there. Because you've got to get to that, and it's like... But the song's at like 180 beats uh, per minute, right? It's really fast, so it's like... It's really tough to get that, right? And I think in the studio, and even when I did my demo, what I did is I just went... And then the next guitar track came in on that, right, to get it cleaner. Okay, so, you know, there's little tricks they use to make things sound cleaner than you can actually play them. Okay, so that goes on, and then... Then, we get into this part here, which is just that lead up, and then we do an A minor 7. Just bar in the 5th and hit this note here. Uh, on the eighth fret of the B string. Now, because we flatter that B string, you're gonna have a problem there, right? So what you want to do is you either again want to press it a little harder to bring it into pitch, or just bend it a bit. So. Right? That's how you can get that into the pitch. And the rhythm on that is, there's nothing on that first beat. One, two, one, two, three. And then you've got the whammy dive, which is just the A in the whammy dive, right? So on the, on my demo, I don't have a whammy, so I just, I went like this. Uh, <laughs> just with my tuning peg, right? Just overdub that, just for fun. And just to get that sound in there. Okay. And that last one, right? You know, we go through that chorus, right? The last one is... And then what I do is I just grab those with my little finger because I'm going to play an F now. And then hit that F note alone. you play that last chord. Now, the second verse, uh, you just hit the E, right? And then they get into that breakdown. Okay, and again, that's just picking the D, G, and the, and the B. You can put the A in there too. I just finger picked up. Now, if you just, because you got that flat B string, right? You have, have to bend that or press it harder. That's pressing it harder. Or bend it a little bit. just up here on 7th fret G, 7th fret B in the open D. And then again. And then again there. That's out of tune, so you just bend it a little bit. Right? Okay, and then it just gets in these shots A, G, and D, right? And eventually it's...
anyways, that's it. I hope you get something out of this. Hope you enjoy playing the song. Um, be sure to check out my website, uh, shutupandplay.ca. It's got all these videos that I have on YouTube, but only it's really well organized and it's really easy to find stuff. And there's I've got a thing about my equipment and there's a bunch of other stuff on there too. So check it out and uh, enjoy playing this song and we'll talk to you next time.